How's it going? It's good, man. I always look so much cooler in a reel for some reason. <laughs> you know? It's good. I'm your moderator, Chip I, Mosier, head of content for Comixology, and I'll try not to mess this up. I'm going to try to get this out of the way quick, so I split my pants <laughs> before I came up here. Like, I don't know. I'll, like I'm going to try not to give you guys the full view, because... I don't even know if that would be legal, <laughs> but uh, yeah, man, so just so you know, man, you guys might have some uh, pretty exciting pictures. <laughs> yeah. So, seems like just yesterday to me, Yeah. but it was 30 years ago. Yeah. Right? I know. T2, Terminator 2, I remember that summer. Yeah. I mean, literally, like yesterday, it was everywhere. Change cinema, special effects, acting. You, your iconic role. Yeah. So, 30 years later, what are your thoughts? You know what? It's, uh, I mean, the best way I can describe it is, uh, you know, that, that whole movie, hold on. Ah, uh, sorry. Uh, that whole movie, like, changed my whole life. You know, like, uh, I was just kind of your normal kid, had no, you know, None of my family was in the business or anything. So, I mean, the whole movie changed my life. And I mean, look, I'm here. I mean, still today, I'm feeling the aftershocks <laughs> of it still. So, you know, it's a pretty extraordinary uh, part of my life, you know? So, um, and I wouldn't have it any other way. You know? Yeah. I'm, I'm very proud of it. You know, I, it's funny. I, I, I was watching... Uh, I don't ever watch the movie because I just, you know, whatever, I don't know. It's weird for people to watch their own movies. But um, I uh, hadn't seen, like, I was at another convention and I was with Danny Cooksey, who plays the kid with the mullet on the, on the bike. And um, we watched the whole chase scene on, on a screen like this. And it's, it was crazy because I... I'm older now, so I was able to sort of step away, and I felt like sort of see it like other people saw it, you know. And it was it was, it was pretty miraculous, man. I, I'm I'm I mean, it's a I I'm so glad to have been part of a classic like that, you know. So yeah. <laughs> let's give it up. Yeah. Okay, I got one other question before we kick it to the audience. I know the fans like to ask questions so I try to get to the fans quickly but you know they're fans of you so what I like to ask is what are you a fan of what do you nerd out about okay so um, I was just nerding out on the Cobra Kai people over there man <laughs> there you go yeah yeah I went to meet them all I totally nerded out um, I watched that show Twice. I, I went through it and then I, I made my ex-girlfriend go through it again with me. And I'm a huge Karate Kid fan. Um, <clears throat> rock music, man. Like, you know, when I met Metallica, you know, I did a video for them a lot and I just, like, turned into, like, a little fangirl. Like, it was, it was embarrassing. Like, I didn't know how to be cool around them. I just was like, these guys are legends to me. So it's like, you know, rock stars, video games. Yeah. Down video games. Oh yeah. yeah. So, yeah. What's your favorite Metallica song? Oh my God, it's I don't know. It's tough. Battery maybe okay. or something like that. You know, like yeah, yeah. I mean, um, you know, definitely album would be Master of Puppets. I guess you know. Or yeah. Like that, right? Yeah. And my son. It's amazing, dude. Like, I'm so proud of him. He just, um, he, he just started playing, he's playing the guitar and he's playing, you know, Master of Puppets. And I am so proud because I was like, dude, you get, he's 14. And I'm like, you got to listen to Metallica. And he's like, really? And I was like, I gave it to now. I was in the car with him and he's like, they're the best band ever. Like, <laughs> I really like them. I was like, yes, yes. So, That's amazing. Yeah. That's great. Well, let's, uh, let's throw it to the audience. Who wants to ask the first question? Hi, my name is Cheyenne, and I was wondering, uh, in Jimmy and Judy, what was the best part about filming that? Jimmy and Judy, the best part. 
Well, I met my ex-wife, which gave me my son on that movie, which, you know, is pretty good. Um, you know what, one of the funniest parts, uh, I, I don't drink anymore or whatever, it's been like three and a half years, I'm good, man, but like, you know, oh, thank you, <laughs> thank you. But I got, a, I got a good drunk story. So I was, it was like one of the, it was the day before we were supposed to start shooting or whatever. So I was plastered, I was with, uh, I was with a couple of the cast members and whatever, and we were at a Myers grocery store. So this place is like, sells groceries and chainsaws and whatever the fuck, you know what I mean? So it's like, so anyway, like, I was really drunk and I thought it would be a funny idea to pull the lobsters out of the water tank and race them down the aisles. But they didn't like that very much. So some guy comes and he's like, put the lobsters back in the sea. I'm like, okay, dude. And I was good. I put the lobsters back. And um, then like a cop car is out there and I'm just a dick. And he's like, you know, turn around. And I'm like, yeah. And then like, you know, and then, um, so I got arrested and ended up in a uh, in, in jail in Kentucky, which was super nice. The jail was nice. It was like something out of like, you know, the uh, Andy Griffith show or something, it was dumb. And then, uh, yeah, I, uh, yeah. So anyway, I had to have the producers come bail me out of jail the night before shooting, which was... Uh, <laughs> Good start. Start. A good start, but it was funny. Like the next day, everybody was giving me all these like stuffed animal lobsters and stuff, and they made lobster for lunch, so it's kind of a big joke. But uh, yeah, so that's my Jimmy and Judy story. <laughs> yeah, it's amazing. It's great. Okay, next question. Hi, Edward. Um, I like to know what was your experience like working with Arnold Schwarzenegger? Oh man, he's. Uh, I mean, honestly, like before I did the movie, I obviously, I mean, Arnold was the biggest movie star at the time, man. I mean, he was, I mean, I watched Predator over and over again. I watched Total Recall. I was all into that. And uh, so I was really starstruck when I met him. And I, I was just like, I couldn't believe it. And, um, you know, of course I got to sit on him with the, you know, sit with him on the bike, you know, for nine months. and. Uh, you know, he's, you know, like, he's one of those people that it's like, I think people can truly look up to, man. Like, he's, he, you know, I mean, everything that he's accomplished in his life is so extraordinary, you know what I mean? And, and he's, he's intelligent, man. He's a really smart, he's very funny, you know, and uh, he's got this energy to him, man. And um, I learned a lot. I learned a lot from him and uh, really looked up to him, so, yeah. Thank you. What was the number one thing that you took away from Arnold? Uh, say that again? What was the number one thing that you learned? Number one thing. Um, shoot, I don't know, that's a tough one. I, I, I don't know, I, I think, uh, you know, I wish I learned more from him at the time, you know, uh, probably would have, done much different things in my life you now, but uh, just a professionalism, Yeah. you know, just a real professionalism. I mean, he was able to, you know, really just kind of, he was able to get along with everybody, but at the same time, he was, you know, very straightforward and did his work and, uh, you know, I don't know, it was on and off. I remember one time, it's funny, this is a funny story actually, I do remember in the back of the car, and this is after months and months of working with Arnold, and I think I was getting like a little bit of an attitude, but I like literally like told Arnold off for a second, like I was in the back of the car, and I was like trying to load the weapon, and he's like, come on, get to it, you know, and I was like, I was like, yeah, fuck you, man, you know, it's like, so, yeah, dude, um, I love Arnold, dude. It's, it's crazy. Like, when you're, when you're working, like, you know, nine months together, man, it's like you're a family, you know, and it's, you're seeing each other every day, and, you know, yeah. Okay, next question. Well, I just want you to just know, starting out, that you're the most badass John Connor there was. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Absolutely. Thank you. Yeah, that means a lot, man. I agree with you. <laughs> yeah. 
yield the torch. Nick Stahl's a really good one too. I, I love him, man. He's he's great. But yeah. Perfect. And my question is, was everybody smoking cigarettes and was Arnold actually smoking cigars on set during the show? Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was into the cigars and the stogies and shit. Yeah. You know, it's funny, like my image of him on Terminator is with the cigar and he had big Hawaiian shorts and you know. Um yeah. That, Perfect man. That, Thank you so much. Yeah. Hi, so here's my question for you. Um, James Cameron, uh, he has a history for being a very perfectionist director. Uh, what was your experience doing that on Terminator 2? <laughs> oh. This one? Um, yeah, dude, he is, he is, but he was, I think, I mean, I had a wonderful experience with him. I think he was told to probably go a little easy on me because I'm a kid, and I had a wonderful time. I mean, honestly, I, I got really spoiled working with Jim Cameron because, you know, I'd work with other directors after that, and I'd be like, damn, these guys really don't know what they're doing. <laughs> you know what I mean? So it's like, yeah, yikes. Jim was amazing. I mean, it would be a dream come true to work with him again. I, I, I love Jim. And you know, I mean, he's he's the guy who gave me my first role, you know. And um, even before I got the movie, um, I was like such a movie buff already. And I'd just go in there and ask him how they were doing all the stuff on Aliens and all that stuff and the Abyss. And you know, he was so nice. And he just, you know, he just sit and talk in his like office and stuff. So, yeah, yeah. Next question. Yeah. Oh, you know what's a good gym story real quick, too, is like, that's another time, man, is like, you know, when you're shooting the movie, everything's like really slow, it's like really boring, so when you're like a 13-year-old kid, and you're like, you know, you're like, what the fuck, liquid metal guy, and it's like, you're looking at a piece of tape, or somebody in a rubber suit, and you're like, I don't know, man, and I'm on the bicycle, motorcycle, but I'm like, literally like, have my handlebars on an apple box in the back of a pickup truck or something it's like you know and i remember one time like you know into the shoot jim cameron said come in come into the uh, editing room you know back then they were editing on film on an ari you know what i mean which uh, that doesn't happen anymore but um he showed me the whole chase sequence and i just remember being like whoa like wow yeah, that's what we've been doing this whole time. You know, it's, it's crazy. But anyway, yeah. So my question is, what was the audition process like during Terminator 2, and did you screen test with Arnie? I'm trying to remember. I don't know. I didn't screen test with Arnold. I... You know, Mally Finn was the person who cast me, so she saw me at a boys' club, and, uh, you know, I had that haircut or something. I don't know what it was, but she asked me if I wanted to try out for a movie, and um, it, the first audition, I had no idea what we were doing, but, you know, um, I was like a little street kid, man. I really was, man, and... Um, you know, she's like, I want you to be mad at your mother and just, you know, cuss her out. And I'm like, okay, <laughs> you know, I can do that. And, um, and then, you know, from then on, it just went in. I, I auditioned with Linda and, um, you know, and then, you know, because I was green a little bit, I, I was new to it, you know, I almost got written off the list and then God bless her heart, you know, Mally Finn was like, you know, you have a real chance at this, you need to take it seriously, and uh, she was right, she was right, you know, and I remember the last audition, Jim came out and he told me you got the movie, and the, I mean, you know, I was like a little runaway, you know what I mean, so like to have that, and, and all this happened within like just a small period of time was crazy, you know, really crazy, yeah. <laughs> Next question. Hi. Um, yeah. Of everybody that you've ever worked with, who's the favorite actor and why? Oh, man. <clears throat> That's tough to say because I wouldn't want to leave anybody out. There, you know, there's been 
different people for, you know, different movies. Um, and I've learned a lot from everybody. You know, one that really sticks out to me is Jeff Bridges. You know, I got to work with him on American Heart. And uh, he, I feel like he really, I feel like I really learned how to be an actor with him. You know, like a real fucking actor. And he helped me a lot. You know what I mean? It's like, I remember just uh, working with him and it's just like, you know, he, he don't, and he meant it nice, but he's like, just don't do anything. Just don't do anything. And it's like, you know, and I trusted him and he was right, you know, and uh, he's just got, he had such a way of carrying himself. He's, he's one of the nicest people I've met, you know, so yeah, thank you. Thank you. Next question. Hi, so kind of changing the direction, um, I was curious about for your time when you were on CSI New York, um, how did you get into like playing the mindset of a character like Shane Casey? Um, well, so like I like to get really into the character, so I started becoming a serial killer. <laughs> like, <laughs> no, I'm just joking. Uh, but it was just it was just cats and dogs, dude. That's all. No. <laughs> uh, no. I. You know what, dude? I. I. Um. I don't know. Really, you know what? I don't really get into. You know, like I'm not like that really. I don't feel like I have to um, become the character or anything like that. And TV moves like really fast. And um, I wasn't used to TV, so actually, I know a lot of people like that. I saw one episode and I almost had a heart attack. I was like, oh my God, like, holy shit, like, you know. But no, I mean, you know, a lot of people liked it. And I, I just have fun, it's easier for, it's kind of easy for me to be honest, just kind of turn it on and off and like, you know, so he's just like, you know, I'm like a psycho person. I'm like, that's easy, I can do that. <laughs> I can get with that, so. Um, yeah, it's it's uh, it's fun, you know. It's fun. To, it, those are like my actually my kind of favorite roles to play are like the bad, crazy people, you know. They're more fun than the, like the nice guy. <laughs> I think we have time for one last question. Hi. So in Brainscan, when you figured out Trickster wasn't playing a game, that it was real. What was your reaction with that twist when it happened? Okay, hold on, you're asking me to go back in time, really. I'm to We're going back in time. Uh, yeah, I, I, I'm trying to even, okay. I gotta be honest, I haven't seen this movie in a really long time. Is that what happens? <laughs> <laughs> I, thought the game, I thought it was a game the whole time. Wasn't it a game? He wakes up, it's a game. It's a big debate. Was it a game or was it real? I remember I woke up and it was a game. That's what I kind of remember. See, the only things I remembered was like, man, my girlfriend in that movie was really hot. I don't know. <laughs> That's all I remember, dude. You know? And, uh, 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 T what was the name of the guy who played Trickster? Um, uh, God damn it. Uh, TJ, what? Yes, him. Yeah, he's an amazing actor. He's such a good actor. You know, as, like he was, uh, he was awesome to work with. I mean, he's such a cool character. You know, like, and uh, I also remember the soundtrack was really good. Like they had Primus, they had all these like good songs on it. Yeah, yeah, it was good. It was really good, yeah. Thank you. Awesome. Well, thank you, Mr. Furlong. It's great. My favorite, John Connor, and yours. Thank you, everyone, for the great questions. Have a great night. Hey,